you think of uh, Patrick has to seem to really, really settle down after the 30. Yeah, I mean, he pitched much better. Um, they seem to get a little more zip on the ball. And, um, there's no getting down in the zone. It's, it's a tough night to pitch. Obviously, the ball was really caring with the roof open. Uh, so there were some balls that were hit pretty hard, though. I don't know if any of those wouldn't have made it out. What did he do specifically to reach back and grab whatever it was to? He just pitched back down and located. That's all. I mean, well, those pitches they were hitting were pretty much center cut and, and up. Once he started to locate and um, you know, throw all his pitches, he was fine, and uh, he was able to give us six innings, which was huge in a game like that. After you know not having Wagner available today, um, that that itself was 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 a victory for us, definitely. How valuable is it to have this bat too? <laughs> Obviously, it's got two hits. I mean, I think he was upset we pinched hit for him the <laughs> third time. He was swinging the bat so well, so. He just, he was swinging the bat great. And that's, that's a tribute to what we did in spring training. We worked hard at it. Um, we've got some big hits out of our pitchers now. Zach will have one on the road and so did Robbie Ray. And, um, and they have some good swings, they're a good athlete. So that's, that's something that can help us win. Obviously you want the W, but when you look at that eighth inning and what your team was able to do, what stands out to you from Segura, the heads up base right. running to Ricky Weeks Jr. and Goldie running it out? Well, that's just, that's the way they, they've always played. You know, they, they that makes me proud as a manager. Our coaches are, you know, always excited that we play hard, and, and that's just their DNA. Um, they're never going to give up, uh, and when the ball's hit, they're going to run as hard as they can to first base and see if something good happens. And tonight, um, numerous times it did. That was very, very exciting. Um, we were close, but obviously close doesn't count. Uh, we wanted to get the victory. But I was very proud of the, the way the team came back and battled. We just need to be able to, those middle innings, we need to be able to shut them down. How Segura is problem in his shoulder or after the slide? Segura? Yeah. No, I just uh, knocked the wind out of himself. He was fine. I was worried it was fingers or his shoulder, but it was just he knocked, it, knocked the wind out of him. He's fine. Sounds like Wellington said he hasn't been feeling comfortable, but are you seeing anything that seems to suggest that he's finding a rhythm and hitting and pitches? Yeah. yeah. He had a couple big ones with San Fran and then um, a couple tonight. So, um, you know, hitting is one of those things. You just get it. Like, he, he's telling you he doesn't feel this or that. But um, he's starting to get it. It's starting to come. And uh, the ball was flying, you know, for him tonight. It was nice. How impressed have you been with Segura's overall play this season? And especially yeah, he, what he, he did tonight. He's done a great job. Um, obviously moving to second. He's had no problem with that. He made a great play. He was left tonight, diving play, saving runs. Um, turned a double play as good as anybody at second. So he's, he's done a great job. And obviously leading off for us has been huge. It's a hole that we needed to fill. And he's done a great job with it. So and the energy he brings every night. Uh, just a great guy to have on his club. So when the ball's flying out, like tonight, do you have to tell your guys anything? You, I don't know, your pitchers have to remind them something? or. I mean, it's they, they know. I mean, it's obvious, and they know that when when the ball is flying like this, you need to pitch down. You need to pitch in. You know, move guys off the plate, and so you can open up the outside part of the plate. Um, you know, it was obviously some people say, "Oh, it's tough to pitch," but it's it's tough for both guys, and they have to battle. You have to persevere. I mean, we go through this in Colorado all the time, so you just have to just keep throwing punches. It's like a boxing match. You just don't give up until the the uh, bell rings and we did that and that was what was impressive about the eighth inning.